Hello guys, this is What About Nintendo, and today I'm here to talk more about Fire Emblem Three Houses. In this video, I'm going to be posing the question, are the graphics in Fire Emblem Three Houses disappointing? So let's get right on into it. So I've already talked about my thoughts on the game itself, both in previous videos and on the podcast I do with Andres Restart, so I'm not going to be talking about that necessarily in the video about the gameplay itself. Instead, I want to pose the question of, are the graphics in Fire Emblem Three Houses disappointing? I'm not necessarily going to answer this question, because I do think it's different per person, but I want to bring it up and bring up some points for and against the game, and let you guys decide, and also give my a personal opinion on the matter. The first thing I'd like to bring up is the fact that Fire Emblem is a game that's almost exclusively been on handheld systems. It has a few console release, but the last one was on the Wii a while back, and this is the first HD Fire Emblem game. The difference between the 3DS games is obvious. The game is a much higher resolution, and the graphics are just way better. Even the difference between this game and the latest console mainline game on the Wii is huge. In fact, I already made a graphics comparison between that game, Radiant Dawn, and Three Houses back last year, so you can check that up in the eye, but just realize the quality of the video is a little bit less than it is now because it was made a while back, but it's still a good video. So there's no argument that this isn't a massive step up from previous games. However, that's not the question I'm posing. This is not, is graphics of Fire Emblem Three Houses better than previous games? That wasn't the question. The question is, are the graphics of Fire Emblem Three Houses disappointing when compared to other games on the Nintendo Switch and just the fact that this is 2019 on an HD system that's pretty powerful? This isn't really a graphics comparison or graphics analysis, so I'm not going to go over the nitty gritty of how everything looks, but I'm going to bring up some points for and against this game so that we can see what's up. The first point is one that I see brought up a lot, and that is the fact that the developers are used to the 3DS. I mentioned earlier this is the first Fire Emblem game in HD, at least for a mainline game. We have had Fire Emblem Warriors, but that's a completely different type of game, and I believe the developers aren't even the same people, so that doesn't really count. This is the first mainline Fire Emblem game in HD. And since the developers are used to such a low-spec machine, it does cause trouble when moving over to an HD system that is just way more powerful. And this is definitely true to some extent. Even Nintendo themselves said they had a lot of issue moving from the Wii to the Wii U, and the Wii U wasn't even as powerful as the Switch, and the Wii was more powerful than the 3DS, so this is a much bigger jump. It is, in fact, typical for developers to not really use the full potential of a system when moving over from 3DS to the Nintendo Switch. However, there are some examples coming out this year that pretty much just buckle that in tradition entirely. Look at Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Switch. That's coming out this year, and it is arguably one of the most polished looking games coming out this year on the system. And it's developed by Next Level Games, who work mostly on the 3DS and only have two HD games under their belt, both back on the PS3 and Xbox 360, and they weren't really even that graphically demanding at all. Or look at Grezzo, who's working on the Link's Awakening remake. They're used to working on remakes of N64 and GameCube games on the 3DS. They've never done an HD game before, ever. This is their very first, and look how good, look how polished Link's Awakening looks. It looks absolutely amazing. That's coming out this year as their first HD game. To be fair to Fire Emblem though, it is a much bigger game than either of those games. There's a lot more content, a lot more gameplay there. You can play that game for so many hours, over 100 hours of gameplay there easily. And with Luigi's Mansion and Link's Awakening, that's not necessarily the case. But I do think there's probably more development time going to Fire Emblem focused on story and, st and stats for characters and balancing and things like that, whereas Link's Awakening and Luigi's Mansion don't have to really worry about those things. Now let's look at something that is definitely, in my opinion, a point against Fire Emblem, and that is the environments are pretty much just okay at best. The environments in this game are pretty rough to say the least, they never really wowed me at all, 
and there are some points where I actually thought the graphics looked bad. Environments can be low poly, low resolution, and have terrible texture filtering or a mixture of all three at the same time. And things like foliage are very hit or miss as well. I think objectively speaking, the environments in this game are worse than most games on the Switch and definitely don't look very polished compared to other games coming out this year. However, as I said, it's a big step up from other Fire Emblem games. If you compare Radiant Dawn to Fire Emblem Three Houses like I did, this is a huge step up. If you compare Fates or Awakening to Fire Emblem Three Houses, massive step up. There's no doubt the developers really pushed themselves further than they've ever gone on this system. But when you compare it to modern standards, even on the Nintendo Switch, it really falls short in a lot of ways. However, to bring a point for the game, something I actually think looks really good, and something I think they absolutely nailed, are the animations in the game. While the environments of the game range from okay to bad, the animations are definitely a highlight. For battles, every move is fluid and animated in a way that actually makes you want to watch the battles instead of just skipping them. And the animations are different for critical moves, moving multiple times in a turn, different weapons, different characters. It's not just generic animations every time, they really change it up. And it's not just for the moves itself in a battle, but for things like victory animations and such as well. For example, when Claude defeats an enemy, he kind of swirls his arrows in between his fingers, and it just adds more personality to the game, and it looks really smooth. It's not just animations in the battles either, just general animations, walking around, talking to people in the monastery, having conversations, all the different animations and facial expressions on the characters, they're very expressive actually, I was surprised about just how expressive they were, not only in those little picture things next to their name, but their actual modeled faces are very expressive. The lip syncing I think is actually pretty decent in this game, especially since, you know, it's got like multiple languages and things like that. And just the animations the characters have and display when you talk to them and do things like support conversations I think are very good. So definitely the animations are a highlight in this game. So just kind of sum things up here because I could go into detail about every single last different graphical thing about the game but that would take a long time. You kind of get the gist by now if you've played the game you know what it looks like. So it's time to propose the question again are the graphics in Fire Emblem disappointing? And as I said, I'm not going to be definitive about this because I think it's different per person. I don't think there's an objective answer really to this question, but I want to give my opinion and pose the question so you guys can answer it as well. In my opinion, I do think the graphics are slightly disappointing. The game looks pretty rough. There are hardly any times where I thought the game actually looked good. And there are plenty of times where I thought the game actually looked kind of bad. It never looks terrible, but it never really looks amazing either. It's just kind of passable. It's fine for the game, and it works, and it's definitely not something like, Oh, Fire Emblem Three Houses sucks because the graphics are terrible. No, I don't think so. I do think there's a lot of love and work put into this game. It's just that it's not really something that I would say, hey guys, you know what? Switch pretty powerful. Go look at Fire Emblem Three Houses. Look how good that looks. No, I'd never say that. I would I would choose something like Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey or uh, pretty much any other game but this game. It's not bad. It's just not good either. But those are just my opinions. Again, I wanted to pose the question. The other half of this video is posing the question to all you guys so you can answer down in the comments below. So definitely let me know. Do you think the graphics in Fire Emblem Three Houses are disappointing? And why or why not? Also guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon for notifications of all my videos so you don't miss out on any other Nintendo content coming out from this channel. Also, make sure to share this video with everyone you know who is a fan of Fire Emblem Three Houses. And I'll see all you guys later on Robot Nintendo. Bye!